Okay. Hello, people of the internet. Today we will be making dragon salmon or s salmon. Here. Salmon. <laughs> hang on, hang on. What's the what's the cookbook? From the Dungeons and Dragons Heroes Feast, which is the official Dungeons and Dragons cookbook. That's right. By so the entree, the entree is going to be dragon salmon. <laughs> dragon salmon and side dish is going to be. The Otix skillet, skillet fried, fried spiced, spiced potatoes. potatoes. Spiced potatoes. That's right. So I <laughs> learned about Otix spiced fried potatoes in 1984 when I was 14 years old. 14? Reading a Dragonlance book where the heroes went to the Inn of the Last Home, which this inn was located in these super tall trees. It was... The whole city was built in trees, and so pretty much it was like a it was a tree village. It was like, like a, a tree house, like village. a tree house village, right? And they had walkways from tree to tree to tree to tree. So everyone lived in the trees. The only person who lived on the ground was the um, ironsmith Theros Ironfeld. The thing that the thing that I the thing that I remember is Avatar The Last Airbender. It was like some people, I do not remember which people, but some people lived in trees. Okay. And pretty much it was the exact same description that you well, said. So here's what we're gonna do first. So I've, I've got the ingredients did you get out that? a while ago. I've got the ingredients out. So what we're gonna use instead of on the stove, we're gonna use, um, if, I, if I can get it to work, we're gonna use this uh, induction heating pad. So that we can, we can try that. Hopefully it'll work. If not, if so that it's easier to show you guys. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to the stove. But let's uh, let me try goof around that. So anyway, so first we're going to do the salmon. No, I had it right. So that we can uh, record this. So we've got the four salmon fillets. Um, we're going to cook those first, set them aside, and then cook. The um, spicy potatoes. But then where are the potatoes? They're in the microwave to start. Okay. All right, where would it go? Oh, uh, okay. Let me here go through and find that because this fell out. I will get this ready. It was on the next page. Ah, so close. Okay. And then what you can do? Okay, come on is you'll read out the ingredients. So I can't cook. And and cook as well, but I just gotta figure out how to get this going again. I don't I forgot how to do this. Sadly we can't use magic. <laughs> Sadly yes. Because so, it says in the beginning of the book look, something about tips. Does it? Just, just, okay, so there's a bunch of pictures at there the beginning. Human cuisine. Yes, I did see that. Tips for magical cooking. Okay. Use magic. Yes. Use magic. I, I can't do that. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but okay, I can't so, uh, okay. Large. Okay. So, 200 degrees. So That's better. That's better. So read, read that description. I'm going to be... Under the is the... Is a bread basket of somebody Hang on. and I'll help you. Uh, yeah, on there is the bread basket of Eberron's uh, Corvair. Eberron is a world that this uh, game designer came up with um, uh, 10, 15 years ago, and so and then in that world um, you can do a whole bunch of different adventures. But anyway. And the Under River is famous for the seafood that half elven ang anglers. anglers, which is a fish catching people for people who don't know, bring back to the markets of Fairhaven. The traditional preparation of this enormous salmon that spawned in the river, like much else in Under, relies heavily on sauces. In this case, a butter and dark wine reduction. The yeah. Arist aristocracy. Aristocracy would sample only a tiny fillet before moving on to further courses. 
But in a simpler, but in simpler households, a single dragon salmon would feed a family. After their fish, the locals would turn to a uh, cramfell. Cramfell, yes, I did say that correctly. Mm -hmm. And then pancakes topped with a witch cream and slices of fruit. Sounds delicious. Okay. So, my heat induction thing, I gotta figure that out still. Well. Okay. So, first, first sprinkle step. the salmon lightly. Yes, I will be saying salmon because it's just funnier. Just say it correctly. Okay, sprinkle the salmon lightly with salt and pepper, which we have. Alright, plan B. So, you guys will not be able to see it up close because we have no idea how to do it. That's okay. I just. Then we. I gotta figure that out for the next time. That's right. So, anyway, so now we got the salmon ready. And it, I believe it says we need to stop that, please. We need to do salt and pepper. Lightly put salt and pepper on there. So yes. So sprinkle the salmon lightly with salt and pepper. And I am the person who's behind yeah. the camera. Yeah. Okay, in a large, yes. non-stick skillet over medium-high mm -hmm. heat, warm the oil until it's shimmering. So, we're going to do that over here. It's going to take a minute to warm up completely. Yes. And then we have Smart Balance Cholesterol-Free Oil Blend. Yes. Not sure if that's 100% oil. Yes, it is. All right. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see how much oil. Okay, see where it says how much oil? Teaspoon, ba, 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 ba. Two tablespoons. Okay, two tablespoons. So, it's the big one. Two tablespoons. Oh, let's wait till it heats up first. Yes. But I, I think it would be better to put in the oil before because we don't want flashing hot oil. Alright, here we go. And we have our potatoes hot and ready for when we need them. Mm -hmm. So. On um, pro tip, make sure to always, if you're pouring any liquid, pour it over the thing you're putting it into because we do not want, especially with oil, Hi. we do not want any oil. You're supposed to keep it there. It's we do not want any spills. It's on the tripod. Leave it on the tripod. It'll be okay. Because it's the potatoes. That's okay. There. No, we're putting this on. It's okay. Well, maybe this will be our first attempt. There we go. Okay. So we got that. It's still heating up. Perfect. All right. So what would be the next step? The next step would be add the salmon. Add the salmon flush shot side down, having at least a quarter of an inch of space around the pieces and cooked undisturbed until the bottom of the fillets start to turn opaque. So yeah, so what, when we put it on there, the pink salmon will turn a uh, opaque, which means... Uh, which means a... It will be like... Not being able to see through. So like a white, uh, not like this. Gray. Like, yeah, a light, or a light gray. But we'll, we'll, when we get there, we'll, we'll show you. And then, while that is going, what we can do, we might as well, since we can use two... Um, pans. We'll get the other pan going. Clear this. You want to get the other pan going over here. And we'll start with that. There we go. Right here. There you go. Handles in. So. Okay. So so this would be the, for the salmon, the, the dragon salmon. This would be for Odex fried spiced potatoes. Let's see. 
So here we need one tablespoon of the oil. So you got the oil. Right here. Where did the table? Right here. Okay, and then let's see. So for this, let's see, we're going to have onions. So it says warm one tablespoon of the oil until shimmering. Just let it, let it cook. Okay, then add onions and one teaspoon of salt. So we're going to need... For. Um, different flavoring in the hot cook. Okay, so once this heats up, it's almost there. Okay, this is definitely there. I'm gonna turn it down. See how it's smoking? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to. Uh, it may splatter, so stand back. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. That looks real tasty. It's really now we, we have to cover it up because it's splashing a lot. You know oil. he likes hide oil bags. <laughs> now that he likes. So we're going. Going to cover it up. If you want, let's just go ahead and get the camera. Go ahead and get the what? Camera. The what? It is really splattering, so just be careful. See how the see how the splatter marks around? That's all right. But we'll just do that, and it said for the camera. Bottoms of the fillet start turning will take three or four minutes and then we'll flip them. So we have is that a uh, couple minutes? Just know that it's going to take a shorter amount of time because the heat is has doubled because it's put a little bit. Right, so now we're gonna put this in here and you got the salt. I cut them really thick because I don't like cooked onions, but maybe it's just for the flavor. Sorry, go ahead, put it in there. No, but that's too much salt. That's too much salt. It's fine. Okay, here. Stir up the onions. So we're going to cook those for about four minutes until they're deep golden. Now noise is incoming. It will be okay. 
What a mess. There we go. Loud noises are over. Turn that down a little Good. bit. What's that? Loud noises are over. Good. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't want loud noises. They hurt their ears. So they're, they're, they're now over. Cool. All right, so let's see how it looks. I got to see the splatter. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there's too much oil. I don't know. I don't know. There's this. This cook. Those are almost done. You know, so. All right, so let me put it back. We're almost done. We get a little more golden. They and said a deep, still white. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put these in the bowl because those are added flavor later. Let's see what's next. <coughs> okay, so so in another minute we're gonna take the fillets out. Got it. All right, and then we're gonna put in the. The flavoring, which the flavoring will be a uh, tablespoon of butter, um, melted over lomi meat, and shallots, the thyme, the shallots, the shallots, the thyme. Uh, put the lid back on that, please. Put the lid back on this. Yeah, you can close out the list. We don't need the spices anymore. Right. And then why did we even get out the Spanish paprika and all that stuff? Because I put all the spices here. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to take out the Santa because I'm sure it's cooked enough now. Okay. I make good salmon. Transfer the salmon to a plate. Uh, okay. Wipe out the skillets. So I need to get. Put in the butter, right? Am I allowed to use this? For Melt that? it over. Yes. And then we have to add the shallots. In the time. And a teaspoon of salt. So these are going to be our shallots. Shallots. Okay, these are good. So there's our shallots, our thyme. Okay, is that ready? It's not fresh. So, watch yourself. And then we need salt. We need the salt, teaspoon. No, please don't do that. Please don't do what? Oh, you almost grabbed my legs. 
Spiced potatoes, put the potatoes, stuff like that. Okay, so now we gotta cook this. Tablespoon of oil with the oil bill. Back to the jelly of hemp. Shallots, so stir it constantly until the shallots soften. Add, okay, add broth. So the broth is going to be, instead of wine, we're going to use the cheese. Why does it smell like a birthday candle? I don't know. Stir it. Adjust the heat to low, add the remaining tablespoon of butter and salt and pepper. So we put the pan. So yeah, we're gonna keep doing that until it kind of boils out a little bit. Wipe out the skillet, add one tablespoon of the butter and melt it over the medium heat. Add the shallot, thyme, and teaspoon. For about a minute, add the wine and broth, which we did. Adjust the heat to medium high and bring the mixture to a simmer. Occasionally stirring and scraping the bottom, which you're doing. You want it Stop that, please. Oh, go, in the, go in the other room. Back in 
flavor. Take some to the rest of them. So I think we'll need more butter and a little more oil. So I'll do half of the butter. Yep. So, so we can do the rest of them. I think I think the potatoes that I use were too big potatoes so you get a lot of it. That's okay. Oh yeah, so we replaced cayenne pepper with mild chili pepper, chili powder, just because we didn't want to get uh, too much spice. Huh? Uh, I mean, Leo wouldn't want to get too much spice. I would be fine with it. Yeah. Twenty-two percent battery left. So, Leo, can you see that, Leo? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's spiced potatoes, so let's see if that works. The battery's low. It's all right. Zoom in on that so we can see. All right. Look at that. And then I'll zoom in on this. Look at that. You know what? Actually, I'm coming your way, so. Yeah, it's just, it's gonna, let's just let it cook out. It's Why kinda, did we need this? Um, I thought, I thought we would need it for that. Let's put it here. Alright, so let me put this back. Alright. There we go. Let's put it in here. Alright, now we need to put this back in the oven. So now, so we did that, add salt, pepper, and the seasonings, add the onion, and stir or toss and distribute. So now what we're going to do, on this batch, we'll add the onion okay. back in. Just for the flavor. 16% so battery. I was gonna cut them big enough so we can take them off and just get them. I mean, I would eat those. Mm -hmm. And you can eat them. Yeah. Leo only likes the ones from McDonald's. 
Okay, so we're gonna put in some spices. Are we putting the rest of that? I'll put half and when I flip them, I'll put the other half. Thanks. So these will be the super spicy ones. Yes, the ones that I will eat. And those will be the lightly spicy. Or the, yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily classify this as super spicy. It's just Yeah, it's here. just, yes. yes. The spicy herb. Um, can you get plates and silverware? And Leo, can you help that out with that? Okay. Mom, are you going to be having some of the salmon? Yes. There's space over there. Even start the timer, so I don't know how long it's taking us to do that. To do this. Are these things green onions or shallots? Green onions, but we're going to use them as shallots. Okay. Here, you want to put the rest of the mm. spices in? Just sprinkle it over there, man. Look at that. Yay! That's going to be soup and spice. But it's going to be great. Yes. I think it's going to taste good. I mean, I think it's going to have a lot of flavor. Because you necessarily, because you don't like spices necessarily. At least this much. Yeah, we'll see. Now is I'm kind of splashing up some of the spices on top of it. Can I have that little tiny thing of salmon right there? Alright, right. let's get another close-up of everything. The Watch butter it. has browned among the oil. Okay, so that's Odix spicy potatoes. This is dragon salmon. Oh, Just so put been, more scales on there. And it's been 34 minutes since we started. Which means that it takes about a half an hour to bake or cook everything. Mm -hmm. And we and I have no idea how much the original time to set everything up was. Right. That's just cook time. It took Maybe a half hour. I mean, if this, if the, if the smoke was up in flames, then yeah, sure, I think it could be classified as dragon. <laughs> these, just, these are still kind of mushy. They need to. Uh, It's a nice crunchy. So they get, exactly, so they get crunchy, kind of like pan <laughs> fries. Mm. Alright, one more minute. 
Let's see if we write that. Keep an eye on that. So go ahead and read the go read, read um, the instructions. Yeah, just so they have an idea. Now for the now for the no. No no no. no. Now for the backstory of the spicy potatoes. This famous side dish comprising chopped potatoes served spiced and fried is derived from the personal recipe of Otik Soda. Proper ter I'm just, I'm just going to say that's what it is. What word? Otik Sanda. No. Proprietor. No. So he's the owner and the chef of the end of the last home located in a remote Crin City called Sal in Salas in Ancelon. Oh, it takes personal blend of garlic, paprika, pepper, cayenne, and a sizable scoop of local salted butter. It's often emulated but tough to beat. However, the recipe featured below is widely thought to be the closest that can come to the feeling of sitting atop the farm Valenwood Tree Tavern with one of the with one of his homebrewed dark owls in hand. These potatoes pair well with any braised meats on the menu or with eggs as a day starter. Now these these look how I imagine them. These ones do. The other ones had light spices, mm -hmm. but these looked how I imagined them in my mind when I was reading the book. So now I'm going to get to relive the memories. Yes, we relive memories, yep. The other words are just like, uh, yeah, sure, you were cooked for long enough, but these, but these, but these are like, mm, yeah, those are like delicious. We, we eat extra spices, plus we put in the onions, those are, so um, I can't wait to try them out. <laughs> there are. Yes. Now I think that that is done with simmering. Maybe just, okay, so did you use that for this? What are you doing? Almost what? Splashing them up? Oh, kind of splashing up? Got it. How are we looking? We're almost out of camera, so it's been 37 minutes cooking, and we're almost out of battery time. So what we'll probably do is shut that off, swap, swap out the batteries, and then continue once we serve it, see how it looks. All good? Yeah. All good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the cooking part the next time that we come the next time that we come back, we will you will be seeing the finished product all on its own. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this part, and we'll see you later. <laughs> no. And we are back. Yes, we still currently are cooking, but we will. It's it's kind of plating. Yes, we're plating. And hang on, which one said we needed the shallots? Uh, let's see. Chives. I think this one looks over. Well, let's just put huh. them on there better. Okay. Okay, can you give me the big bowl next to you? Okay, here we go. Spices, medium spices. Okay. So now, uh, go ahead and get the plates, and we'll we'll plate it up. Mmm, those little little mm -hmm. Okay, those onions.
So, whose will this be? Um, this will be yours. Okay. Okay. So let's... Perfect. Let's, let's see, let's play this whole next count. Mm -hmm. Alright. And we'll get one more. Okay. Hold on, I'll take the two. This would be for Master Leos. Actually, this could be for your mom. I'm not looking for a medium. Okay, move to the right place, please. Just put it over there and get the plates. Not eating the spicy ones. Those. I really know what it tastes like yet. So we'll see. And it doesn't matter. He doesn't like spicy. Ah, that would be for you. Mm -hmm. okay, for you? Yep. All right. So let's get that picture. Because they're good. They're shallots. They're delicious. They're exquisite. I must try a bit of the dragon. Okay. okay. I have some other over here. Some What's that? I'm not. Oh, okay. All right, so I got here. Slide over, then do a taste test. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay. And taste of Odex spiced potatoes. Okay. It's it's a light hot, meal. but I like it. You like it? Okay. Mm, Miss Bell. Now time for child number two. Well, technically he's the second child. Go. So let's just take a little bit. Uh, half a half a teaspoon, plus the onion salt, plus everything else. That's actually very flavorful. Delicious. Now you're you're eating these the super spiced potatoes. We made two versions of the not as spicy. Because we didn't add cayenne pepper. All right, and now it's gonna be my most favorite. Would delicious. Be, my uh, most favorite right. would be the salmon. The salmon. Okay, so let me try the. Spiced potatoes. And you need to try them soon. Oh well. So good. Yeah. Well, this one has just this tons actually, of spices. This is actually our first time trying it. It really isn't that spicy. It's right. It, it, it is really salty. And I think what we could do differently instead of throwing the spice on top of them. We'll put the butter and the oil in first and, and the, spice. the spices. Let that mix up and then put that in there. That way, yeah. you're not just putting a big chunk of spice on top of the potato. But still, it was delicious. Okay. So now, dragon salmon. Yeah. The salmon is really good. Yeah. You taste the salmon and, and the spices. All right, so dinner one from the Hero Dungeons and Dragons Hero Feast. Thanks Which for making this. 
Lots we of appreciate fun. your guys's <laughs> comment participation. Guys's okay. Anyway, thank you. Here is the book. Bum, bum, bum.